Okay, so the next one I'm going to have is map. Again, map is another function available in array object. So uh, I'm going to have one more function called do process. Again, accepting all the three parameters here. Okay. And in th this time, I'm going to return the square of the value itself. Okay, so all I'm doing is just return the square of those values. Okay, so now I'm going to declare A with three values. So which means all of these three will be considered as part of an array A. And let me alert it just to ensure that we always get 10, 20, and 30. Okay, and now I am going to have one more array called as B. And what I am saying here is a.map do process. Okay, and let me see what is this B having. Okay, it is very simple. Map is again very similar to our methods, whatever we have seen earlier. So, map gets executed, which means this is the method which gets executed for each and every element available in A, which is very similar to what we have seen earlier. So, now 10 for the first time will be executed by due process, and this 10 will be available in V. And you are saying that 10 into 20 needs to be, sorry, 10 into 10 needs to be calculated, which becomes 100. And that 100 needs to be available as the first element in B. Similarly, the second element in A will be calculated with a square and will be placed as the second element in B. The third element in A will be squared again and will be placed as the third element in B. So which means you, for each and every element you have in A will be squared which is nothing but the process whatever it is doing here. And all of those calculations will be done for each and every element we have in A. And it will be automatically placing into the corresponding locations with respect to the calculations whatever it is doing for each and every element available in A. Okay? So if, if it is doing a calculation on the first element, the calculation will be placed only in the first element for that array B. So in simple, if you have 10 items in A, you are going to have 10 items in B as well. Okay? But each and every element in B will be a returned value from the process whatever it is doing here. So in this case, we are supposed to have 100, 400, and then 900. So this is from A, and this is from B.